Hello everyone. Today I want to have a look at something that I've had some experience with over the last month or so and that is modeling up MEP systems. And when you're in a situation like what you can see on the screen here, you usually have your ground floor and then maybe some repeating units going up from there in some other building, maybe a skyscraper or a block of flat. <coughs> and we would like to encapsulate say this group of elements over here so that we can copy them up the levels and at the same time conserve them as a unit so if we make a change to one of them we make a change to all of them now there's two ways of thinking about this either in links or in groups but groups to my mind works better and is a typically acceptable solution within the industry so after we've selected all of them we can just group them give them an appropriate name and these entities now are a single entity that is the group all right <coughs> so having a look at the at an elevation here we can see we've got from level five four three two and one and we'd like to copy this up from level two up three four and five the group that is there we can select it. We can copy it to clipboard and paste the line to select levels 3 through until 5. We might get an error here or there. <coughs> we'll see how to deal with that shortly if it is an issue indeed. Alright, so there we can see here they are but the pipe, the riser, is not cut where we would like it to. And you will see over here as well. Right. So what we do, we just split this pipe there. can see this pipe I was very careful to have this pipe as a zero slope so not computed not zero slope but not not computed in other words it's perfectly vertical and that means when I copy the group up or down this riser I'm guaranteed that there will be no errors with regards to uh, connectivity there we go and now notice also when we drag the pipe onto the connector, SX, we can select the, let's go to an elevation, switch out into fine, shaded and maybe mechanical discipline. You can see clearly what we're doing. Drag it on, there's the connector. And note that it also puts a connection piece onto the pipe there. There we can see the connection piece. Same from this and up. Now if you had to do this without the group it wouldn't want to put that connected piece up there necessarily. So that's one of the quirks of groups in MEP. It's not a major issue. And it is as simple then as just joining them up. Now they are connecting to the system. Okay, let's have a look at this. If we hover over one of them, and we spot pressing tab, 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 there we can see it's lost the connection somewhere over here. So for some other reason, 
the group has disconnected itself at this connector so there might be some issue over here let's try and see if we can fix this Okay, so click on the elements after you've selected them or after you've selected to remove to finish there we go now we can see we've removed these pipes from the system let's try and reconnect them And we may have to use a bit of a trick to try and trick this pipe into connecting again. We're going to slope down and then see if we can reconnect. Okay, it's accepted that. So this pipe is now connected to that branch again and then let's edit the group and add those two again okay so it would have See if it's connecting. And we can see that it's not connecting. Over here. There it does connect. And over here. It's still not connecting. So there you can see there are some issues with the groups and the way in which they generate. Alright, so that's just something to watch out for from a three-dimensional point of view for clash detection. It's great, but you might have to do some extra work later. Maybe ungroup the elements or duplicate the group. And then make sure that the connectivity is right again. All right, so there is, there does seem to be quite a bit of extra work that goes into using groups with MEP. But at least from a design perspective, you need that 3d it's a relatively easy thing to achieve till next time enjoy revit <coughs> and good luck with using groups